Hi and welcome to Amphenol Solar. My name is Martin Hartman and today I'm going to show you how to take our Helios H4 connector and assemble it into a cable assembly like this here. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. The Amphenol Helios H4 connector, Amphenol Helios solar cable, some wire cutters, Amphenol Helios H4 wire stripper, Amphenol Helios H4 wire crimper, and the Amphenol Helios H4 wrench tool. So after you've cut your wire to length, the next step will be to get your Helios H4 wrench tool, which has got a wire strip length designator on it. It's this little line here. You're going to line it up with the beginning of your cable. Take a pen and just mark the length how far back you need to strip the cable. The next step will be to take your Helios H4 stripper, put it in there for the, in this case, the size 12 gauge, which is about, which is the second one in, and you just strip it to the length. Okay, now that you have your wire stripped, the next step will be to take either your pin or your socket, it doesn't matter which side you start with, um, it's up to you. And as you can see, on the crimp barrel there's a little, little opening there, a little eye opening, so you can see where, uh, where the wire comes in, so you make sure you're in there all the way. So after you get that lined up, you're going to take your Amphenol Helios H4 crimp tool. And in this instance, since this is a 12 gauge wire, we're going to use the middle setting. That's for 12 gauge or 4 millimeter for you metric folk. Open it up and you just put it in there. Make sure the wire holds. Then you're going to crimp away. And sometimes it does take two hands to crimp it totally. And after it's done crimping, it will release automatically. And there you go. You now have the contact crimped on to one end. Now all you have to do is go and do the same thing to the other end with the opposite in this case. Since I have a pin on this side and put a socket on this end, that's the type of jumper cable I'm, I'm looking to make. Okay, now that I have both ends crimped onto the cable, next step is going to be to attach our H4 connector and complete the assembly. This is how you do it. Okay, here are the components that make up a connector half. You have the nut, sleeve, grommet, and the connector body itself. And you do have a, a male side and a female side. Okay, the first step in uh, putting the connector onto the assembly is first you want to work backwards. So I'm going to start and put the, the nut onto the cable and the sleeve, the compression sleeve, and then the grommet. And you can just slide that grommet right into the sleeve because that's where it's going to make its home. Um, then you just take the connector body, and in this case, the female body goes with the male contact. Just slide it in and listen for the click. There you go. It's in there. So the next step is just to take the sleeve, put it in the place there, take the nut, start screwing that down. And the best way to get it completely all the way down is to have two of our H4 Helios wrench tools. Slide one over the body, and then another goes right over the nut. And you just start cranking away. And once you hear that clicking sound, and it's all the way down, you're done. That's one half. Now all you have to do is do the same thing for the male side, and you'll be all set. And here's what your finished cable assembly should look like when you're done. For your information, once you do have an H4 connector in a mated condition, the only way to unmate it is to use either the Amphenol H4 Helios wrench tool, or we also have just a ring tool that goes over your thumb. And simply just put the, the tabs into the slots, pull, and you're unmated. 
Once again, I'm Martin Hartman with Amphenol Solar. Thanks for joining us here on this tutorial on how to make an H4 cable assembly. Have a nice day.